I want to share also a vart in this vein of the Rebbe, which is in the Kutasichas in Ha'ara. The Rebbe says regarding our matzav now post Gimel Tammuz, the Rebbe says that the uh, Negeya Tzayin Adar Sicha, I believe, that the Negeya Haman Arosha says that when Haman decided to make the Gzeda of Purim, he made a girdle. It came out in Chedeshada. So he was Samach Simcha Gedele. He was very happy because Chedeshada is the month. Shemais Meishir Abenu, the Meishir Abenu died. So the Gemara says, but he didn't know the other side of the story. What a fool. He was happy that Meishir Abenu died. And he loy ha yedeya, he didn't know that the Gemara, Shabbazayin Ba'ad, Shiva Ba'ad, or Meis, or Shiva Ba'ad, or Neil. Then the seventh of Adar, he, he died. Then the seventh of Adar, he was born. That's what it says in the Gemara. He says that Meishir Haman thought he's a big chacham. He only knew half of the story. Meishir Rabbeinu died. He didn't know that he died and he was born. So the Rebbe asks there, the Rebbe asks there a few questions. First of all, why would he not know? No one accuses Haman of not being smart. He was smart, he was a kishiv macher, he knew all kind of stuff, magic. He was knowledgeable. He knew the death. Why wouldn't he know the birthday? What's the cheshm? That's number one. Number two is why does the Gemara repeat that he knew, he didn't know that he died on that day and he was born? He knew that he died on that day. Samach Simcha Gedele. He knew that Meishad Avenu passed away on that day. How come the Gemara has to repeat? But Haman didn't know that on the 7th of Adar he passed and on the 7th of Adar he was born. The fact that he passed on the 7th of Adar he did know. Why does the Gemara repeat it? And then the Rebbe says, why in that, in that order? You're born before you die. It should have said that Haman didn't know that he was born and he passed on that day. The whole thing is strange. A, why didn't he know the day of, the day of birth? B, why does it mention that he didn't know the day of passing when he did know it. Why is the Gemara repeating that piece when it's trying to say only one point that he didn't know the day of the birth? And out of order. We could have simply said that Haman didn't know that he was also born on that day. But in fact, it says he didn't know that he passed on that day and he was born on that day. Says the Rebbe, this is a Mugadik in the Kutisichas. Says the Rebbe, it doesn't mean that Haman didn't necessarily know the date. He probably did. He was knowledgeable. The same way he knew the birthday, he knew also the yard thing. Or vice versa. The Vart is, the Rebbe explains there that about the Nitzchis of Anasi. That Anasi's life is Nitzchi, it's forever, it's in the Chsidim and etc., etc., all the explanations. And this he didn't know. So the Rebbe reads the Gemara. Haman was a big chacham. He said, oh, he was so much He was so happy that Meish Rabbeinu Mace on Zion Adar. The Loyal he didn't get it. He didn't know that Beshiva Ba'adar Mace, Beshiva Ba'adar Naila, that on Gimel Tammuz is a Stalkus, and then subsequently is a Hailada. That on Gimel Tammuz is a Stalkus, and subsequently is Chaim Nitzchi, and leapt because of Ahuba Chaim and Everything else that the Rebbe explains it, that the Rebbe left. 